Here's good news for those of you who don't like to exercise. This particular type of exercise is actually bad for you. Hi, I'm Keith. For those of you who don't know me, I'm going to make this intro shorter for everybody that's complaining that it's too long. I'm a seven-year cancer survivor. I've studied over 4,000 clinical papers on the root cause of chronic disease. Things like epigenetics that modify your gene expression. I've reversed all five of my chronic diseases. You can make great progress. If you want to make small tweaks, follow. If you want to make major changes, DM or get on my calendar. Ready? Let's dive in. Before we talk about the type of exercise that's bad for you, let's talk about the two types that are good for you. Strength training or resistance training and aerobic training. What these do when your muscles contract is to produce something called myokines. It's a signaling molecule that helps to increase brain function. It helps to reduce overall inflammation. It helps fat to metabolize. But you can overdo these and cause problems. There's another type of exercise called HIT or high intensity interval training, which is very good for you also, but you need to be careful because if that intense part gets too long and too intense, this can start to cause cellular problems. The types of cellular problems that can start to arise are things like mitochondria dysfunction, which can then lead to insulin resistance, which then can lead to type two diabetes. That's why it's not totally impossible for someone who looks to be in fantastic condition, thin yet muscular with diabetes. So please be careful. If you like these videos, please like and share and we'll see you again soon.